Yo guys, Chris here, back in another video, and today I'm going to be talking about how the Crew 2 beta was. Uh, so I played a little bit of the Crew, the original Crew, uh, nothing too much, it was on the 360. Uh, so when I got the Crew 2, I didn't really know what to expect, uh, but the beta, it was pretty good. Uh, I would rate the beta probably a 9 out of 10, only certain things that were kind of, you know, weird for me, but uh, I'm going to go through how the beta was in certain categories. We're gonna start off with the physics. Um, compared to the old game, I do think they improved, but the physics are kinda of weird in this game because you get used to it after a while, but the drifting seems very easy. I was just able to do, you know, constant figure eight after figure eight, and compared to if you play Forza, we actually need talent to drift. It's kinda of different. The racing physics, it's not terrible. Um, it's not amazing either, but I mean, it's an arcade game. It's not all about the physics, uh, but I do think they improved, but they're still not on the level of, say, like Forza or something. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about was that there's only going to be four players uh, in a session. So there's this seven players in a session thing that you can have, but you can only have three of your friends on with you. So technically, I mean, unless you want to play with two other randoms, then there's only four people to a crew, which is just like it was last game. I understand that, you know, the reason that they're having this four players to a crew and not more is because of the fact that uh, the game is so huge and it just, they just need the fact, you know, to, if they have more than four people in a session, it's just gonna lag everywhere. And it already started lagging a little bit, uh, even with only four players. So, I mean, they're going, graphics over players I guess I mean that's whatever they want to do uh, next thing was the map uh, the map is really really big in this game and that can be a good thing and a bad thing uh, but part of the bad thing is that we can just fast travel to different events and then drive to where we need to go where the closest event is because no one's gonna want to go from one side of the map to the other when it takes like three hours if you know what i'm saying uh kind of like last game how we would be able to fast travel to places that we progressed that made more sense but that's not how it works in this game and that kind of that's kind of the bad part about it uh about the map but you know the, the map overall is it's a great map the cities and all that stuff uh, next up we have the graphics. Uh, the graphics were really, really good in this game. The shadows were good, the reflections were good. Kinda looks like a cartoon, blah, 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 whatever people wanna say. Uh, I really did like the graphics, 10 out of 10 so far. I mean, they're just incredible. Uh, next up were the sounds of the game. Now, the backfires were extremely loud, uh, which is a good thing, obviously. Uh, some of the car sounds weren't realistic uh, but one thing I found is whenever you reverse like you go from first gear to reverse and it make like a weird noise like an unrealistic noise like it go up to like 10,000 rpm which wouldn't be what happened uh, so it's kind of weird there uh, next up the cars being too expensive now this is one or two things because we're in the beta and we can only do the first event which earns us 15k, uh, or if you did it on hard, it'd be like 19k. Uh, it made basically all the cars too expensive. Now this could be a good thing because uh, as we move on in the story, we'll be earning more credits and such. So it's not going to be a problem, but for the beta, it was a problem because we couldn't really get the cars we wanted uh, unless you know we just grinded all 48 hours plus. Uh, time pretty much um, Next up here. We have the story and progression looks good uh, Based on the story because we have the different disciplines obviously and we unlock the different things do uh, through the different disciplines So it looks really fun to kind of progress through the game and go from start to finish get all the disciplines all the photo ops it looks really fun to uh, compete, which is a, always a good thing and last thing, this isn't part of the beta thing, but uh, all these betas are kind of scaring me because 
the closed beta made sense, right? It's a closed beta. But now they're going to have an open beta right after E3. So they're having another beta within 14 days, and everybody's going to be able to play it. It's almost like, you know, this game doesn't even come out on June 29th. It's almost like we're playing the game already. I mean, we got to play it for four days, and now we're going to be able to... Everybody's going to be able to play it again. It's kind of... They're really just trying to get people to buy this game. I mean, it's, it's weird. But, uh... Yeah, and we don't keep our progress, so I gotta do that story mode all over again for the open beta, uh, which isn't that cool. But, who knows, maybe it'll progress from the closed beta to the open beta, I doubt it. Uh, otherwise, that's kinda how I thought this beta was. Let me know how you think it was, and I got plenty more videos to come. See you guys next time. Peace.